welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about some powerful weapons that you can get early on in the game and they're very very easy to get as well two of them are in new atlantis and one of them is in a different city which we'll talk about but before we get into it make sure you hit that like button subscribe all of that fun youtube stuff and let's get into it the very first one we are looking at is the marksman aa 99 rare rifle you can buy this from a shop it comes with seven mods and it also has the hitman perk for 15 percent damage while aiming this is basically a sniper with a silencer on not quite a sniper but it's a single shot long range weapon which for the most part for a while will be a one shot kill if you aim for the head and if you combine that with stealth perks with sharpshooter perks things to take people out from long range this is going to hit like an absolute truck but it also can be used from close range as well if things get on top of you you can actually spam it from the hip and, and do a lot of damage it's not quite as good as like an smg or a shotgun from close range but it's still viable to use i didn't switch off this weapon for a very long time it looks okay it looks cool design wise not the best looking gun but when you're using it you don't care what it looks like because it's a monster it's very easy to get as well so if you head over to the residential district and run in this direction you will come to the shop centurion arsenal you go in here and you can buy it it varies in price but i believe this is the only weapon that they sell that doesn't change when the inventory changes i can't confirm that but i'm pretty sure that's the case where there's all other weapons in there you can buy they will change on a regular basis and yeah they have some good white weapons as well but this blue weapon is incredible as you're going to see right now so I've used this weapon in different ways. I've used it on level ones. I've used it on higher levels. I've used it on a single enemy. I've used it on a group of enemies. And you can see that it is just a phenomenal weapon. Even when you're panicking and hit firing and running away, you can still do a hell of a lot of damage. And that to me just shows how good of a gun it can be. I don't even have the stealth and sharpshooter perks, but I wish I'd chosen them because I think a gun like this would be absolutely unbelievable to play with. So next up we have this micro gun which is basically a chain gun and this is a weapon you can just steal in New Atlantis, not get caught for it and you don't even need a stealth perk, it's actually ridiculous. Stealth definitely helps. I do want to say though, this purple micro gun is something that I just got last night from a drop and I removed the one that we're going to steal because it's only a white weapon but it's very good from an early weapon stage this is basically what the gun is but a purple version of it so i'm going to show you how to get that and then i'll show you some footage of the gun the white gun the white version so if you come to the spaceport and you run in this direction you're going to come across two little shops here very noticeable coffee shop just here that's where you want to aim towards and we're going to go down this lift into the well which is the below area where all the poor people live but also as well you live there at some point because when you get your apartment you actually go live down here when you get off the lift you just want to run straight ahead and turn right and go into this gun weapon shop here it's really easy to get you want him to be sitting down like this sometimes there's other people in the shop and he's walking around just reload and, and hope that he's sitting down so all you need to do is just walk up here so you're you're essentially hidden crouch go directly behind the box like this now i don't know whether this is going to work this time but i'll try it but oh no he's getting up I wonder if i could still get it but if you are hidden behind this box you can take things without even being caught it's really as simple as that if you have the stealth perk it just makes it a little bit more consistent but if you get right behind this box where he can't see you you can just steal stuff there's also stuff in the back as well if you want to go through here and steal things as well i haven't tried stealing these yet because i just don't want to risk getting caught but there's things back here that you can look at and try and steal but this micro gun is phenomenal let's talk about it Right, so this weapon is something that you just absolutely tear people apart with. You just drill ammo into people. The only downside is, is that the ammo that's used in this weapon is ammo that's used in a lot of weapons. So this is more of a fun gun than it is an efficient gun because you will run out of this ammo so fast and you need that ammo for other weapons, the 7.77 millimeters, I think. However, when you use this weapon, it is so much fun. You just see people get deleted. You see monsters just disappear. You just look at them, charge it up, and, and everything's dead. It's so much fun. But the ammo part is a problem because you want to save that 7.77 for a lot of weapons that you'll be using. 
but if you if if you've only got this weapon that's using 7.77 millimeters absolutely go ham with this weapon because it is so much fun and so powerful for an early stage gun and the one i just picked up the purple one is even better it gives me the ability to um, when i kill people they might drop med packs which is phenomenal in this game so keep an eye out for any micro gun but just go and steal this one because it's very easy to steal you don't even need the stealth and for this last weapon a really good pistol to use against armored enemies and robots and such things we want to go from alpha centauri up to the cheyenne i believe that's how you pronounce it system it's a single jump very easy to get there you will end up here on the main quest line regardless because the main city aquila city is here and we're going to go there and show you where to get the weapon so you probably want to see what the gun is before we show you where it is so this is the elegance pistol and it looks phenomenal reminds me of kind of like a hand cannon from destiny to be honest but it is an incredible weapon as you can see it's got a perk called shattering break through even the strongest armor you can melt elites with this weapon it's got a very small mag but i'm sure you can improve that if you have different uh, mag mods that you make and put on a weapon the fire rate is high so you're constantly needing to reload however this game's ai is not particularly the best so you have chances to reload and use this weapon to just drill out the three levels of armor that some enemies have unbelievable weapon definitely worth getting so here at aquila city we want to go to the weapon shop and i feel like a lot of these weapon shops in main cities probably all have an individual blue weapon for you to buy but these ones are the ones that i think are worth it the elegance and the the sniper rifle kind of sniper rifle we saw earlier we go into roland arms and we speak to bell roland here i've already brought the weapons so obviously it's not in the inventory but this weapon is utterly insane when it comes to breaking shields and if any enemies are like on top of you and have like a big wide body surface you can just pop this on and drill them and they just drop dead kind of like the micro gun but you're constantly having to reload but it's got a very specific type of ammo that you don't see very often or at least i haven't seen very often at the moment so you will have an ammo in abundance all the time if you're obviously if you're going around collecting ammo but this weapon for me is just a great opener to just getting down those big big strong enemies with a lot of armor and then swap into something else to finish them off it just feels so good to use it's, it's one of my favorite weapons i do wish there's a little bit more magazine size and i'm probably going to work up to getting the mods to actually make it a bigger magazine but overall it's incredibly powerful and incredibly fun as are all of these weapons so make sure you are getting them if that helped make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're new around here leave me a comment down below telling me about any other powerful weapons that you think are worth buying or finding early on in the game thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome